Gonna start a laser company. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, this is Letty and I, and I wanted to just talk about the lasers today and what you need to know before you buy one, because I wish I knew what I know now, but I want to share with you so that uh, you cannot make the mistakes that I've made. So let's do this video. Mm -mm. Laser. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, you need to have a why. Why do you want a laser? Why do you want a laser? What's your purpose? What are your plans? Do you want it as a hobby? You just want to be a maker? Or do you want to have a business? Your why is very important because that will determine how much of a laser you need and kind of like, you know, it gives you kind of like an anchor point. That's an anchor point. My why is I'm a long armor and a quilt maker. You can see the quilt back there. And I wanted to be able to do my own custom plexiglass rulers. I mainly wanted to do long arm quilting rulers. So long arm quilting rulers have a larger thickness. They're quarter inch thick. And I also wanted to be able to do custom uh, rulers for cutting fabric. These are about a quarter inch thick. You use a rotary to use these. And so since I already have a Lorena's quilting channel, I thought this would be a good fit for me to be able to cut rulers and do kind of specific things that quilters would love to have. And so that was my why. I wanted to make my own custom rulers. Rulers are really expensive in the quilting community and I wanted to kind of have my own personal ideas of what kind of ruler I wanted to make. I also wanted to do a business that would help my community, which is quilters, and I wanted a machine that was big enough to deal with mass, mass production, mass manufacturing, <laughs> and be able to <clears throat> do a lot of work quickly. I do have several embroidery machines, so I know the benefits of having two embroidery machines and working for people, and I also have a long arm. And so that's kind of like my why. A little bit of the business, a little bit of creativity, and a little bit of making something that I know that will be useful and functional. Now, this is not a good ruler. I messed it up, but I'm learning. And so that was my why. You gotta do some research, which research I think saved me. Research different people who have purchased different types of lasers. It will really save you a lot. There's a whole bunch of people on, on YouTube that are sharing their lasers and what they do. Research to a point where you even communicate with them, message them. I commented to like four or five people who had different types of lasers and asked them, if you, what you know now, what would you do differently? And also ask them what machine would they want if they had a chance to do or know better. A lot of them gave me their answers and they're so sweet and kind, they will message you back, but do research. I researched Boss, Thunder, Eon, and I also, Epilogue? It's another laser company that was out of my price range and I did my research. Initially I did research on the web, YouTube, TikTok, you know, all those people research. Go on a research bandwagon and spend quite a bit of time and in your research start writing down questions. All right, question number one, how much does the laser cost? That's usually everybody's question. What, did, what do you need to pay for the laser? But in the cost, money, money, dinero, you want to know, one, on the cost, how do they have or expect payment? Some companies, I believe, Boss wanted everything up front, uh, Thunder wanted $1,000 down, Eon wanted half down and the rest paid in full when it was shipped, Thunder was the same, 1000 down, the rest paid in full when it's shipped to you. Different companies have different payment plans. Also to in cost, does it include warranty? In cost, also what add-ons are there? Some companies, the laser is really inexpensive, but then when you have the add-ons like the camera, like a rotary, also to like wheels or equipment that goes with the laser. For example, the, the water chiller, uh, stuff like that, they're called add-ons onto the laser. 
some companies it's all added on to the price of the laser and some companies you have to decide which water chiller you want what rotary you want if you want one if you want a camera on the laser stuff like that does your cost include other things or not in cost another thing you can think about what is the warranty <laughs> and how long is the warranty warranties are different sometimes warranty it's we will fix everything from top to bottom for about two years and then some warranties we will fix you know major parts for about a year and then the rest you have to figure out because it's not covered how long is the warranty is a thing you need to think about when it's connected to your cost when it's connected to money another thing you have to think about is refund what if you don't want the laser no more what if the company pisses you off what uh, the company that was with they said that if I wanted a refund or if I don't want the laser after I made a contract agreement that I wanted it, that they would be able to take up to, I believe, 30% of the original price of the laser. So meaning they could literally take up to five to $3,000 if you decide to change your mind. You can lose money and not wanting the machine. You also have to know that when it comes to cost. All right, another thing you need to think about is shipping. COVID threw a wrench into everything. Shipping is a mess. We ended up having issues when I was getting this laser, my Nova uh, 14, because one, there was manufacturing issues. Two, there was, um, they were having a hard time finding containers to ship the lasers. Another thing they were having issues with is that, uh, COVID and Florida and you know China closed down so shipping is a big thing that you need to talk to your sales rep or your company about they will tell you that it will be here at a certain time and that may not be the truth as a matter for mine I was supposed to get it five months and it literally took me almost a year to get it close to a year I ordered it in June or July August September October November September it took 10 months for me to get my laser and so shipping is very important how long will it take for you to get it also with shipping different companies will manufacture the machines here in the United States and then ship them to your home other companies will ship the machine from China to your house other companies will ship the machine to their warehouse here in the United States. They will go through the machine, make sure it survived the travel, and go through the machine and make sure that it's in good working condition and then they will ship it to you. So have questions about shipping, the cost of shipping, um, delays of shipping, and where is the machine coming from? That's big. You have to decide the size of the machine for what you want to make. I ended up wanting a Myra 9 and I wanted a 100 wattage mach watt machine because I felt it was big enough for the kind of work I wanted to do and the business I wanted to start. But I also wanted a laser that was strong enough to cut through a half inch plexiglass. That's why your why is important. What ended up happening is I was talking to my husband and he said the cost difference between a Myra 9 to a Myra 10 or 14 was only like $3,000 and he says you know you're going to have to wait for this machine and maybe you should get a bigger machine that has more space for you to create more items because remember my why I did want to start a business in this or work a business. And I wanted to be able to do more faster and that it can handle if I have a lot of work orders. I guess that was my why too. So size of machine is really important. Where are you going to put it and how are you going to move it from where it is dropped off in front of your house to where you're going to start using it. Now. I should have gotten a smaller machine and I did get a smaller machine. A smaller machine is easier to transport from the front of your house to your garage or to a room because you could turn it and then you could use a dolly to move it. It is really difficult to move this from the front of your house. Your machine and where you're going to place it is something else you need to have consideration for. This machine, I had to completely tear her apart completely 
tear her apart. No joke. She, I had to disassemble the water tank, the air exhaust, everything, okay? The doors, the panels, to lighten her as much as I could to get her into this room. I didn't think about that. Well, I did talk to my sales rep concerning it and she says that it was not a complicated issue, but they changed the way they designed this laser, so it was a complicated issue. Whether she knew or not, I don't know, but apparently the first lasers they made were not as complicated to take apart as this one was. So, consider taking the laser apart. Also too, I had to get my husband used his crane to lift the laser and move it to the backyard where we're gonna move it. Now, if you're gonna move it into a garage and that's where you're gonna work, you know, that's not a problem, but for me, I got the laser, it took me two weeks to finally crane it to the backyard. It took me a full day to take her apart and to move her and another day to reassemble her. Now this whole process took a whole month because to orchestrate everybody to work together to do this was a task. So consider the size of the machine and where you're gonna place it. Does it fit your place? Will it work in your location? And do you have room for it? And if you get a large laser, are you ready to tear her apart to get her into where you're gonna move her? And uh, just, you know, you don't know what you're doing and you're going in deep. So be ready for that. A smaller laser, which I should have, you know, when I was moving her, I was like, I should have gotten Meyer 9. But then now that I'm using her and it's in the space that it's in, I'm so thankful for it. But initially I was like, what did I do? <laughs> and the size of her is intimidating. Intimidating, is that a word? So here, this little laser was easy to move but things to think about small lasers she didn't come with the table so i ended up having to figure out how to jigger this to have it make it have its own table or have a table that's big enough to fit the laser you can make your own table you could find a table that's big enough on uline and i decided to have my husband fix this for me so that I have drawers and everything and I don't regret it, but this was a, a thing that I had to figure out. Where are you gonna sit the machine? Because these suckers are heavy and is it? you have to know where you're gonna place the machine because you're gonna have to have exhaust for it. Thank God I have two windows here, but if not, you're gonna have to put holes in your wall to have exhaust. That's something to think about. I thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting me. Please subscribe. I want to do more videos on stuff that I'm making, but you know, I'm, I, I was working to pay her off. All right, <laughs> have a wonderful day. She's big. She's a big baby. I want a laser. Uh, uh. Am I using Big Mama? Yes, I am. Big Mama's working for me. She's been making some beautiful stuff for me and I'm not as intimidated as I was. I've also learned how to cut thicker pieces of wood, which is awesome. Look, look she can burn stuff. She can, she's a burner. She's a burner. Look how pretty this is. Burner. Anyway, oh, all right. <laughs>